Hello, I'm Doris May Olton. I'm chair of the Charitable Trust for CFUW. Canadian Federation of University Women was founded 100 years ago, and it had very, very global and all-reaching goals. These are goals that we still hold very close and dear today, supporting women in education, supporting women in the arts and culture and libraries, and supporting women in human rights. We know that education is key in all of those areas, and we know that women who are educated are taking increasingly leadership roles. Our very capable leaders at the time decided that a practical way that CFUW could support women in education would be to establish a series of fellowships. So they established the Charitable Trust. And the Charitable Trust right now gives out about annually 12 fellowships. This year, because of our fundraising, we've been able to give 28. Normally across the country, the fellowships and scholarships are about a million dollars. Scholarships are generally given by the local club, and fellowships are generally given by the national. And so we've got about a million dollars annually that comes to deserving women. But this year, because of the efforts of our 100th anniversary, we've been able to add another $220,000 to our giving this year. We're giving two Library and Creative Arts Awards. We usually give one. So we really have basically doubled our efforts this year. Across the country, women have been generous and understanding and feeling that education is such a critical part of what we do, of the goals of CFUW, that they have been committed to making sure that women get access to scholarships and fellowships. Our fellowships have supported research in really exciting areas. So every year at the annual general meeting of the CFUW, we have a breakfast at which we have speakers come and talk about what their research has led. And so we've had speakers talk about their underwater research and their genetic research and their, well, just about every area. And we found that those are very, very cutting edge kinds of research that women have been enabled to do, partially because of the, the support of uh, the Charitable Trust. CFUW has a long, long history of supporting research. We even supported Madame Curie in her research. So our roots are deep. And this is a formal way of doing it, and it's annually been able to achieve great success. So we thank you for all of your support in the past. We hope that this video will allow you to expose more people to what we do. So please, do show it to your members, show it to your community, show it to your past recipients. We know that they will share our joy in how much we've been able to support women in education across the country. Thank you. I was born in uh, St. James. Uh, my grandfather, Sam Morgan, was the uh, alderman of the city of St. James before it became a part of the city of Winnipeg. And my mother lived two doors down from him her entire life, and so did I, obviously. And from the time I was young, I was very interested in education. In fact, in, in one of the books, uh, I had said at age seven I wanted to be a teacher. I pursued that dream and got my Bachelor of Education degree and became a teacher. And I taught in the public schools of Manitoba for 28 years. Uh, teacher, vice principal, principal, consultant, and then, after I was a principal for seven years, the University of St. Boniface, Université de Saint Boniface, was looking for someone to teach in their faculty of education. And that's where I ended up. I started my PhD program at the University of Manitoba and every few weeks we'd receive a list of possible scholarships and awards to apply for. So I was ready to commit many years to these PhD studies and I tried to search for awards that I could apply for because it's quite expensive to do a PhD. Most of the awards were only for full-time PhD students and I was not in that uh, space because I was already teaching at the Université de saint Manifest. So when the CFUW awards came to my attention, I realized that they would accept part-time students. 
so I decided to, to apply. I knew that the uh, award competition would be competitive, and so I took great care crafting my application and uh, choosing people to write my reference letters. And the other important part about the CFUW award was that I could uh, apply for several different awards. There's such a large a gamut of awards that I had a choice of several that I could apply for. My PhD program was in educational administration given that I was formerly a school principal and I studied in the Faculty of Education at the University of Manitoba here in Winnipeg. First, the money from this award helped me pursue my dream and to finish my PhD. So I consider the CFUW part of my family and friends that accompanied me on this journey. I'm indebted to the CFUW for recognizing the value of my work from the proposal outline that I submitted and take, not taking exception to the advanced age at which I decided to pursue these PhD studies. The organization is indeed inclusive of all women. I defended my PhD thesis in October of 2018 and I received my degree in February of 2019 from the University of Manitoba. The title of my thesis is A Study of Manitoba Principles' Experiences of Workplace Mistreatment, Its Frequency, Its Severity and Its Impacts. I have since turned to other areas using my newfound knowledge. I'm in the process of writing a paper to be published in one of the educational administration journals. I also have translated my thesis uh, into French and presented at the Université de Saint-Boniface in the master's courses there in order to uh, help these new principals as they develop understand what experiences they may have in their role as principal. And I've applied to present my thesis at uh, conferences in Canada and the United States in 2020. I've already presented twice in Canada and the results have been very well received. In light of the recent events and reports based on the inequity of salaries between men and women, this equality gap in salaries, I believe that an anomaly needs to be addressed. And the CFUW could indeed help people to understand this inequity by funding research in this area for women who are interested in understanding why equity in professions rarely exists. There is a great need to fund graduate level studies in the field of engineering. Certainly the STEM uh, areas, civil, mechanical, electrical engineering, have been promoted to women for many, many years, but it's very slow to have women take up those fields. So encouragement by the CFUW in the form of bursaries and scholarships to continue to encourage women to enter these underrepresented fields and perhaps to study about the inequities in, in wages between men and women. Bonne fête, bon anniversaire, FCFDU. Uh, happy 100th anniversary, CFUW. I'm so grateful to you for helping fund my PhD studies and being a part in my success. I thank you wholeheartedly. Uh, thank you to all the members of the CFUW for investing in women without prejudice to age, religion, ethnic background, or, or origin. I am indeed honored to have received this award. Tanche, Nikki Dishnikashan, Niamichif Des Esprit, Lorette Duschen, Winnipeg, Niwikin. So my name is Nikki. I'm from the community of Lorette, Manitoba, which is a small Métis parish town. Now I live in Winnipeg. My great-grandfather on my mother's side was MLA for St. Vital in Louis Riel's provisional government before moving to Ile des Chênes. And my great-grandfather on my father's side established the town of Lorette with other Métis farmers and buffalo hunters uh, in the 1800s. And uh, we've been living in those communities ever since.
I first learned about the Canadian Federation for University Women's Aboriginal Women's Award uh, through a Google search. I was looking for awards that were available to Indigenous women and I thought that the CFUW uh, was a really good opportunity for women and girls to pursue their education and luckily my uh, thesis research was in line with the Aboriginal Women Award requirements. I'm studying in the Department of Educational Foundations at the University of Saskatchewan. My degree program is a Master of Indigenous Land-Based Education. The program is innovative in that uh, it's taught through a series of field schools, which was designed um, to help Indigenous students stay in their home communities. And my thesis research is on developing an urban Métis land-based uh, curriculum for Winnipeg, Manitoba. The curriculum is designed to explore uh, history, culture, and identity with Red River Métis families uh, here in Winnipeg, and also to counter uh, colonial narratives and establish Métis place in historical and contemporary urban society, and also to help people develop an urban land ethic and to restory Winnipeg and the urban uh, as Indigenous land. This award has had a very significant impact. It's really helped me to focus on my studies and complete my thesis research. I'm in the thesis stream of a, a project-based master's, um, but I am hoping to graduate with the rest of my cohort in October 2020. Following that, I, I believe that I'm going to explore further studies in a PhD program, and I would like to continue working in education, particularly educating uh, Métis people. I definitely think that uh, CFUW provides a great opportunity for women and, and girls to pursue post-secondary education, and I've actually been encouraging some of the women that I know to check out the Canadian Federation of University Women. Happy anniversary to the Canadian Federation of University Women. It's a really big deal to be established for so long. It says a lot about the commitment of your members. And I think that you're making a really big difference in the lives of women and girls to attain post-secondary education. And so, kichi marci. So thank you very much in, in Machif.